technique is the ability to produce what you want. The presupposition is that you want something. <laughs> so before going to the piano and practicing, training your muscles, which is, which is a waste of time, because it's not in the muscles. It's in the brain. It's in the inner ear. You have to hear, Schnabel used to say it all the time, you have to hear before you play. If you play before you hear what you're going for, it's an accident, and everything is built then on an accident. So want something, hear it, hear it, go for You asked him if at some point he could orchestrally begin to imagine some of the phrases. Um, do you think that would be helpful in terms of approaching a piece like this to, to imagine the flutes in one part, the bass in another? I think that this is, this is something that can be helpful in any piece you play on the piano, because the piano, like this, you know, is, is, is a very primitive, neutral instrument. And therefore, if you have in your ear the sound of the oboes, or the sound of the violin, or the sound of the chorus, or the sound of the flute, it doesn't have to be that had Beethoven orchestrated it, he would have put the flute. The mere fact that you have that in your ear and you have a sensitivity and an understanding of how the flute sounds in that register will allow you, if you have the necessary uh, manual control, to produce a sound that is much more interesting and more imaginative than the sound that is produced by simply bringing the keys down. When you control things well, then you can create the illusion of playing a glissando on the piano. Uh, try that, for example, at the end, the very last bar. For example. Yes. And then... by timing it in a certain way. There's a Heifetz type, uh, Lissando, which doesn't take time, just goes directly into the note. Then you dream every note between the notes. That, that's a, a kind of hypnotic thing because people are going to hear those glissandos if you do hear it. They will say themselves that it doesn't exist and you cannot play glissando on the piano, but somehow I hear it from where I sit, sounds like a glissando. And then it will be like a rainbow. The rainbow doesn't exist. Yeah, the rainbow exists only where you are. If you go further, there's no more rainbow. So that's an illusion too, is a, is a rainbow. You think that you have to play the piano with your fingers. You know, that's a big mistake. <laughs> you, know, you play the piano with your hand. That. is very difficult. It's like driving the car very fast in first gear. <laughs> <laughs> so switch gear. <laughs> yes, no, no fingers. 
utilizando. Yes. Obviously, you have to have fingers. Yes. You have to have fingers like a bicycle wheel has this. And, and they, they turn. So uh, playing the piano has to have some kind of dynamic feeling, you know, aiming for something. Music, the motion of the music has that. It's not simply piano playing. You know, and I don't really want to think about piano playing like skiing or, or ice skating or bicycle. But it has the same kind of dynamic feeling like like things moving in space. And we have all these things in our ears, like, like the wind blowing, coming and, and turning. No. Then I stopped it. But How you produce the tone that you do? I can tell you that. I learned from a Czechoslovakian singer who was very famous in times, who sang with Caruso in old times, in my young, young years. It was Emmy Destin. Emmy Destin struck me when she sang with a marvelous, marvelous voice, which, which just acted on me sensually, you know? which made me cry by, by the sheer voice, the sheer... I tell the young people, sing, sing inside. You have no voice, that doesn't matter. You have the best voice if you feel singing in you. <laughs> 